bismillah hello welcome back in this lecture we shall discuss how to reverse a given string using assembly language program i have taken a variable which contains a text of 13 characters called say hello welcome this text i want to reverse like uh, uh, first e m o c and finally this one is the h okay so the logic behind this one is let text one be the given string which we want to reverse and text two be the reversed string right so i will take a counter cx register is equal to here here it is there the cx register i have taken as the length is equal to 13 characters right what we want what we are going to do now here let us take the si the source index register which is pointing to the first character and another register di which points to the reverse text first character so da is pointing to text 2 si is pointing to text 1 now the length of the string is 13 therefore i will add 13 to di therefore di plus 13 will make the di to go there i want this to point to the end of the string therefore i will decrement di once now let us copy the first that is text one pointed by si this we shall copy in this register al register h and from al we shall store at pointed by the di register therefore h is copied right now we shall increment si and we shall decrement di and we shall repeat the process let us copy this in the al register and from the al register let us copy this in the al register and from al register we shall copy at the location pointed by d right the second character is copied again we shall increment si and we shall decrement di copy the third character whatever is pointed by si to al and from al we shall copy into di right again we shall increment this one we shall decrement this one and we shall repeat the process till our cx register becomes 13 the cx register become is equal to 13 so every time we copy this becomes uh, 12 then again it becomes 11 then again it becomes 10 then again it is decremented to f and see the 9 like this till the cx register becomes 0 we copy whatever is pointed by si into al and from al we copy into whatever is pointed by di and every time after copying we increment si and we decrement di yes this logic we shall apply in our assembly language so i have taken a notepad so let us write uh, this in terms of 8086 assembly language so i will as usual i will start with a comment therefore this one is a string reversal reverse using 8086 assembly language the first directive is model right we have only one one segment for code one for data one for extra one for stack therefore i have taken model equal to small and let us allocate 256 number locations for this stack. 100 h means 256 in decimal then let us take the data segment as i showed in the figure i will take text one define byte and let me take the word string is equal to hello world which is which has 13 characters let us have text to two define byte this also we want 30 duplicate dup duplicate and all the 13 memory locations are uninitialized let us take a variable count since we want to use this in cx register i will take this equal to dw define word and this one equal to 30 right let us take the code segment i take a label begin and let us move whatever is in the data segment let us move it to some register move in the ax register this starting at a sub data move in data segment ds ax 
since we want to use both SI and DI pointers, I will use move extra segment also equal to AX. Right. Now move in the CX register, I will initialize the variable with count. Therefore, my CX register contains 13 decimal value. Right. Now let us take yes, uh, this one move. In SI, I will take this one equal to 0. Alright. Then move in DI also, I will make it as equal to 0. So both are pointing to initial, uh, initial location. Now I will add it, DI with the count. Therefore, DI is incremented with count. Therefore, DI will point to the last location plus 1. Okay. Therefore, now we shall decrement a DI. Now, DI is pointing to the last memory location. Alright. Now, what shall we do? This one, we shall take one location, move in some register, say AL, whatever is in text 1 of SI. SI is right now 0, therefore, it will take text 1 of this one, H is copied into AL. Now, that whatever is in AL, that we shall put in text 2 of di di is pointing to the end because we have added so this one i put it in l therefore one character is taken from the source text one and that same character is written at the last location of text two now let us increment si and let us decrement the di and this process we shall repeat till the cx register becomes zero that is we will repeat this 13 times therefore loop and some label again therefore automatically this becomes uh, uh, this will decrement the cx register and uh, it will take a ca next character it will copy in the last but one again the si is incremented di is decremented and again cx is decremented and third character is taken and this way the process is repeated right now we have to finish this one therefore move as comma four cs this is the service number and we shall call the enter 21h this is for the exit to the disk operating system right i end the program by end and the label what i used at the beginning was big right this i save this i save it as rev.asm all files all right my this file name is rev that is for the string reversal let us go to this one and we shall compile tasm rev right this will create an object file fortunately there are no errors now we have to link this one therefore let us uh, go to this asm folder and here i create a link file it is asking the object file object file is rev and as uh, executable file also same i don't want map file lib file all these things now let us execute by debug so debug the file name is rev.exe u for unassemble so this is the program what i had written see that uh, it is moving data segment extra segment then cx register becomes a count si and di becomes a zero and di is added with the length of the string and di is decremented by one because it is going past one location then we take one location from text one we write it at the text two and we increment si decrement di all right then g g for go execute the program all right since this message is coming because i used uh, uh, interrupt 21 with 4ch that is why the program is terminated normally now let us dump the memory location the data segment address is here 0 b d e therefore dump from 0 b d e colon 0 right see that this is the string what i used was h e l l o space w o r l d and now the string is reversed h e l l o space w o r l d this string this is the given string which is in text one now this is the reverse string which is in the text two okay so this is how we can reverse a given string to another string we could have reverted in the same memory location but for simplicity i I used two different memory locations, text1 and uh, text2, uh, right? So this is a simple program. Now let us quit this one. And if I repeat the logic, see that uh, we are using this extra segment. Why do we use extra segment? Because we are using SI and DI are used. 
source index and destination index are used usi by default uses the data segment and di by default uses the extra segment okay now cx is by default it is a count register therefore i put cx equal to 13 cx is a word type therefore here i have taken wisely this is also a word type this one zero zero it is pointing to the initial index and uh, now this one is added so that it will go off the uh, index that is after it will go to the last character since it is going one location ahead i decrement this one one character is taken from text one and that one is transferred to text two and the one pointer is incremented another pointer is decremented and this code this these steps are repeated till cx register becomes a zero right this one is normal exit to the dos routine and other thing right so this is in continuation to our previous lectures hope this uh, would have given you a, a simple understanding of uh, how uh, simple programs are written in assembly language right with this we shall stop it please comment and please uh, subscribe my video and please give some uh, positive feedback so that i can improve thank you so much